Welcome to Central London, Leicester Square to be precise, and we're here at the Arts Theatre, where Lloyd Kaufman, the world's most prolific independent filmmaker, is presenting Toxic Avenger, the musical. I promise. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. The movie came out in 1984. When we brought it out, not one theater would play the Toxic Avenger. Not one country would buy the Toxic Avenger when we took it to the Cannes Film Festival and promoted it heavily. And then a year later, Jackie Reynal, who was a uh, Warhol person, she owned the Bleecker Street Cinema, and she played it. She played, she, she understood Toxic Avenger is funny. It's not a horror film. It's a satire. It's a political, sociological satire. And the day it opened, there was a line around the block. And then from there, it ended up with uh, hundreds and hundreds of American theaters. And the next year we took it to Cannes, it, uh, there was a feeding frenzy. And then, of course, the sequels and the toys and the cartoons. My wife and I love camping, and we uh, this was in the 19, uh, early 80s. And everywhere we would go, there would be these non-biodegradable McDonald's cups or plates, or, or there were beer, plastic uh, things that held the beer cans together. Fish would eat them, <laughs> uh, you know, horrible. And uh, so that kind of led to... Uh, the Toxic Avenger movie, so it was an environmental movie way, way, way ahead of the, uh, of the game. I had a uh, grandmother who was uh, very, very left-wing. In fact, whenever she said the word Nixon, she would literally spit on the, on the carpet. You could never walk barefoot in Grammy Kaufman's parlor. But she put a lot of uh, very controversial uh, thoughts in my head and kind of pushed me in the direction of being uh, a, uh, I guess, a um, subversive to some extent. And I've, I've felt that I should be uh, trying to make a little bit of a difference in the world. And young people are the people who make the difference. And certainly they're more fun than the people my age. So uh, all the movies going back into the 60s, uh, I've tried to have some political some kind of political, sociological uh, undercurrent, uh, but yet make the movie uh, entertaining, and because entertainment's the, the, the reason we're all here, if, at least in, in the moving picture department, and uh, that was, uh, I've been doing it ever since.